Hey everybody, it's Molly with All Ears here at Universal Orlando with a brand new video. Today, I'm answering one of your biggest questions. Is Express Pass worth it? Now, if you're unfamiliar, Express Pass is Universal's version of Fast Pass, but it does have a fee. It can be up to $200 per person during the busiest times of the year, but is it worth it? That's what we're gonna find out today. I've got Express Pass. I'm gonna do as many attractions as I possibly can and hopefully answer that question so you know for your next vacation. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. We got a lot to do. Okay, let's go over the basics of Express Pass. It works on basically every attraction. The big one it does not work on is Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure TM, which is arguably the most popular ride here. So think about that. But Hulk, Mummy, Forbidden Journey, Escape to Green Gods, all of the big attractions other than Hagrid's, it works on. It starts around $100 per person per day. And during the busiest season, it goes up to almost $200 per person per day. So it's definitely an investment but you can hopefully get through at least one if not both parks in one day with the express pass now what i will recommend however is if you stay at a universal premier resort which is royal pacific the hard rock or portofino bay that express pass is included as a perk of staying one at one of their nicer resorts so yes if you stay at portofino bay or hard rock or royal pacific Everyone in your party is getting Express Pass for every day of your stay, including your check-in and check-out day. So, to me, that's the way to do it. It's to book at least a night at a hotel. You know, you're probably booking a hotel somewhere anyway. So come over to Universal for a night, get the Express Pass for your check-in and check-out day, and you can get a lot done. So, keep that in mind, but I've got my Express Pass right here. Make sure to keep it on you. They'll scan it at the attractions and let's get to it. So because it does not work at Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure TM, I definitely recommend making that your first stop when you get to Universal Orlando. Rope drop Islands of Adventure and get yourself over there. If you are staying at a resort, you can do early park admission on select days um, and Hagrid's is included with the early park admission. So in a dream scenario, you stay at one of the resorts that gets you the free express pass you get here for early park admission, you ride Hagrid's at least once during that early hour, and then you can use Express Pass on just about everything else. Point of view, the park opened 45 minutes ago. You just got off Hagrid's. You've got your Express Pass, and now we're going to Hogwarts. Since it's still early, it's only a 15 minute wait, but we're still gonna do it, obviously. Hello. Thank you. First, got to put my stuff in a locker. Um, and the reason I'm going to do it is I'm very curious where the Express Pass queue takes you on this one. Because this might be one that if it doesn't have a long line, I may tell you to just go through the regular queue anyway because of all the cool Easter eggs and details. Um, if the Express Pass queue cuts off a lot of that. So we're going to check it out. I explain this every time I come to Universal, but... If you are unfamiliar, they have lockers at the attractions that are a little more thrilling um, and you have to put your stuff in them. So make sure you have your park ticket um, and keep that with you. And then you've got to put your bags. If you have a fanny pack, you're okay at most of them, um, but you got to put your bags and your loose objects in here. The standard size lockers are free um, for while you're on the attraction, but the bigger ones, um, if you have a bigger backpack are $2. So definitely think about that while you're figuring out what bag you are bringing with you. And again, if you wear a fanny pack, you don't have to put your stuff in a locker anywhere except for Rip Ride Rocket and Hulk. Hello. Hi. Express Pass? Yeah, I just had to buy your pass really quick. Perfect, they will scan up ahead, okay? Thank Have you. What a nice wizard. All right, let's see where this queue takes us. Oh my gosh, can you even with how amazing Hogwarts is? Okay, so we're skipping all the part with the one-eyed witch with the hump statue and the mirror of air set. Oh, but we're getting to see the portraits. Hello, Salazar. Hope you're well, sir. Thank you for founding the greatest house 
in Hogwarts, even though I don't, you know, completely agree with everything you said. You were quite proud of having oh, Helga. Your house guardian. Yes, a remarkable young man, Helga. Potter, Potter, Potter. That excrescence wouldn't even make a substitute on the Slytherin tea. Oh, you're mad, Salazar. Just watch. I'll wager young Mr. Potter and Gryffindor beat Slytherin today. Ha! Found her selfie. Look, now we're in Dumble's office. The name alone strikes fear in good witches and wizards everywhere. So you can still see all the and Easter eggs in here. And I've got videos of all the Easter eggs. So we can link those because there are so many. Okay, now we're in the Defense Against the Darkness classroom. If you're not, you're meant to. And now we're going into the Gryffindor Chronicles. So, really, we just skipped the dungeons with the Mirror of Erised and the gardens with the Mandrakes. Um, the mirror's really cool. So, if there is the log line, I recommend getting in line at the regular line to see that. Time to scan my pass. Thank you. Easy peasy. And it's almost time to fly. I don't ride that one very much because it makes my tum tum rumble. Because if you get even the slightest twinge of motion sickness, this ride will do it for you. It's so much Harry Potter stuff. I just now realized for the first time that when you first initially fly and Hermione says, say observatory, she throws flu powder. I guess I've never paid attention before. I don't know if other people have noticed that. Um, but that's how you get to the Quidditch pitch because she's like, sending you to the observatory anyway great attraction um you do miss a little bit of cool stuff if you go to the express queue so if it doesn't have a long line maybe just wait in that if it's like 15 minutes or less um if you're a harry potter fan if you're not a harry potter fan you don't care about seeing the mirror of air set or anything go through that express queue while i'm here i'm gonna do flight of the hippogriff it's only a five minute wait i like this attraction for the buckbeak animatronic and then that way i've done everything in the land um, ride wise and we can go venture somewhere else after this. Flight of the Hippogriff is definitely the least exciting of the Harry Potter attractions. Um, it's more like a kiddie coaster. It's more, a little more intense than the Barnstormer um, over at Disney, but not as intense as like Mine Train. Um, but if you're a Harry Potter fan, there's one very cool Buckbeak animatronic. They can only see it if you ride the ride. So if you've got Express Pass or it doesn't have a long line, I say why not? Alrighty, I'm in my next land, Seuss Landing, and I'm going to use my Express Pass to ride the High in the Sky Seuss Trolley Train Ride, which I actually find very fun. It's got a posted 20 minute wait, so this one does have a short height requirement, 36 inches. You may notice I'm walking upstairs, there are more stairs at the queues at Universal than Disney. Um, so if that's an issue for you, talk to the cast members and they'll work it out for you. Uh, now that I've had a great time on the high in the sky Seuss trolley train, which I legit like that attraction. And what's cool about it is if the different trains have different paths. So like one of them goes by the water and one of them goes uh, through the restaurant. So that's a cute attraction. Um, I'm actually going to go get the train over to the other park. Uh, because Universal Studios Florida closes earlier than Islands of Adventure, and so I want to knock out everything over there, um, knowing I'll have a little more time to come back here. Another thing I want to mention with the Express Pass is that there's actually two levels of it. The first one is the basic one. It gets you on every ride that takes Express Pass once. So of course that one's less expensive. Um, and then the unlimited, is the one that takes you gets you on every ride that takes it as many times as you want and that's the one that does come with the resort stays that qualify so keep that in mind as well so there is one that's a little more economical but let's say you ride forbidden journey and you're like that's the best thing i've ever done in my whole life i can't wait to ride it again you'd have to go to the regular queue i don't know what's wrong with me it's not like i haven't seen the train a million times but when it pulled out and I saw the Hogwarts Express and all the steam bellowing I had feelings it's just such a key part of the story that I'm clearly obsessed with and it just is awesome so Harry Potter fans you've got to do the train cabin party 
one party per cabin, which is why the line gets so long these days. Um, because normally you can put eight people in here. Um, also, they remind you to remain seated, keep your mask on, because um, you're under active surveillance by the Ministry of Magic, and like you don't want to mess with them. You don't. You'll get a howler, and you'll have to go to the to the hearing, and it's like a whole bunch of paperwork. Probably Arthur Weasley's gonna have to do it. You don't want to do that to Arthur. He's busy, so just keep your mask on. We have made it to Universal Studios Florida, the other park. And I'm actually going to go around the park and end in Diagon Alley since I'm planning to take the train back in a little bit um, to finish up over at Islands of Adventure. So we're gonna go over here, do a couple things. Do you know what time it is? It's time to go see the family at Fast and the Furious Supercharged. This attraction is currently using virtual queue, so there's no posted wait. You go into the Universal app and get a return time if they're available. If one's not available, check, keep checking back. Um, they do pop up from time to time, but typically this attraction and Jimmy Fallon use virtual line, but they also accept express. So here we go. No waiting for us. We're going straight to the fam. I know you think I'm kidding when I say I like this ride, but I'm literally not. It is so ridiculous that I love it. I'm not telling you it's good. I'm telling you it's ridiculous. I'm skipping all these people who had virtual line, and I'm guessing that still because of how this ride loads, I don't know, 30 plus minutes. So we're skipping a lot of time right now. Dom says he doesn't have friends, he has family. That's me. And the faces you see on these walls are our family. Wait, where's my phone though? When I'm in this room, I feel like we're all together again. I think it fell. So. Well, looks like you guys are now going to a fake party, so good luck with that. I suggest keeping your family together, their safety in numbers, or whatever the phrase is. I'm stressed, so good luck. <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say that if I could have one job at Universal Orlando, it would be to be Pat or Jamie, the people that talk to you, and also to Ludacris and the characters on the screen, because it would be so fun and it's so ridiculous. Wow. Wow. I am sorry. That ride is so great in its own right. Do not wait a long time for it. Don't watch this and think I'm telling you it's the best ride ever and you should wait a long time for it because I'm not. But I'm telling you that this is my face the whole time. Because it is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And I think that's what a ride based on the Fast and the Furious should be. So just take the entire film franchise and imagine what a ride would be like and that's the answer so yeah it's ridiculous but it's so bad it's good i love it the next attraction we're gonna do is transformers the ride 3d it has a 30 minute wait in the app. All right, it's time to go face who I believe are called the Decepticons. They're the bad robots. We're on the good robot team. So this cue's a lot different, I'm noticing. I don't think we're gonna get to see the stick, uh, the Tesseract. Just kidding, I think it's called the Allspark. But I don't think we get to see it in the express line here. I always say this, but I actually really like the Transformers ride. It doesn't make me as nauseous as some of the other simulators. And I think it's really fun. So definitely ride it, especially if you've got Express Pass and don't have to wait in line. Hello, Optimus. Can we take a picture? All right. Sorry, robot detour. It felt rude like just to walk by when he didn't have a line and not say, hey, like we just saved the planet together, you know? 
Oh, but wait, there's someone else we should talk to. Hi. Hi, donkey. How's it going, everybody? How are you? I'm wonderful. How have you been? Oh, I can't complain. I had a great holiday season, a wonderful new year. Yeah? Yeah, how about you? It's been good. It's been a little busy, you know. Do you think more people should follow me? Oh, absolutely. They can see you. Of course, that's how it's gonna get to that. Yeah, Sorry, if you uh, subscribe to, uh, what, what was subscribing to? All Ears Net. Some of my family, then uh, you can definitely see me. I don't know what she said, but it sounds great. Yes, I'm gonna go see Shrek. Okay, that's better. Okay. Definitely see me too. I will. On the big screen. I can't wait. As I was meant to be seen. Okay, well, as I promised Donkey, I gotta go to see Shrek 4D which I'm actually really excited to see because the way they're loading things right now, this often has a very long line because they can't load very many people into the theater at a time. So it's got a 25 minute line right now, which is pretty long for the day, um, but I won't have to wait in that long line. I'm beginning to torture you later. All of you! <laughs> I really like Shrek 4D um, and there was a pre-show and I asked and it's just for Express so that's a bonus if you're a Shrek fan um, you get to do a little bit of a pre-show it was really funny um, and then they seated every other row and had spaces in between it is a little bit of a longer experience um, but if you're a Shrek fan it's really funny it's like Mickey's Philhar Magic or um, and Captain EO back in the day because the seats actually move and stuff and then it's 3d and then it's got like little water splash effects and stuff so minion mayhem has a 35 minute wait right now that would be a great one to use your express pass on um, because the way they load similar to shrek 4d very very limited capacity so that would be a great one if you're interested in that Casually, just Doc Brown's just casually mingling. Hi, Doc. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from here. Right here by, by the tree? Yes, I live right here. It's wonderful. Yeah. Where are you from? Hill Valley, California. Yeah. What year are you from now? A little bit better than uh, last year. So, well, we'll it's see. Starting off rocky, it'll get better. You'll see. You promise? Of course. All right. Are you going to go back to 2020 at all? Never. Okie dokie. Let's bypass the line at the ET Adventure. We got to get to ET's planet. The faster, the better, is what I say. Now, on the Instagram Decides My Day video where I was at Universal, I did this three times in a row. I would wager that line is probably 15 to 20 minutes, so we're going to skip that. There is a scent at this ride. The minute you walk into the building, you are smacked in the face with it. <sighs> Smells good. Smells great. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, you got to pay attention sometimes for the express signs. Do you see it? It's very dark in here, but it says keep left. You don't want to end up in the other line. You're not getting what you pay for if you do that. Here come my bikes. Woo! The ET adventure is so bizarre. It's like part the last 15 minutes of the movie, Hart going to E.T.'s planet with him. And it's a trip, man. It's a trip. I insist you ride it. If you come here, especially with Express Pass, and you can bypass the 30 minute line. But it's the only opening day attraction that's still left and you fly on a bike, like Peter Pan, fly to Magic Kingdom, but it's a bike. And I just adore it. And I'm glad I got to ride it today without waiting in line. I got distracted because Branch is here. Hi, Branch. How are you? I love you so much. Don't tell Poppy. 
I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with the trolls. <laughs> My favorite one to meet is Guy Diamond, who's the glittery one. Especially when he has Tiny Diamond, his child, strapped to his chest. I made it to Simpsons Land, also known as Springfield. The Simpsons ride had a 40 minute wait last time I looked in the app, so I'm gonna go ride that first. And then I'm going to eat something, but I figured it was smarter to ride before eating. Because we're gonna go to the express side. And just think, it's not even a busy day we're getting to cut so many lines. As someone who has not seen a single episode of The Simpsons, I gotta say I do still think that ride's pretty fun. It does make me a little nauseous because it's a simulator, but it's not 3D, so it's not as bad as some other ones. Um, but it's pretty funny. They like make jokes about theme parks, like stupid humans. Don't you know the rides always have to end in the gift shop? And, um, Theme parks won't kill you if you've got a dime left in your pocket. Like, just funny things. So, that was definitely what I'm glad I had Express Fest for. It's 45 minutes now, um, and that's definitely not, I wouldn't wait that long for that ride, but I'm happy to wait no minutes. <laughs> it's time to get some food. So, I'm gonna go into the food court here at the Simpsons Land. I've never actually eaten here, I've eaten at the taco stand. Um, but the food court has got like several different options all within one place and it's all on mobile order. Um, but they've got the iconic Krusty Burgers. You can go to the Chicken Shack. Uh, you can get barbecue. Okay, so this is actually super cool. Um, you don't go to a counter or anything. You just go to any table you want to sit at and each one has a QR code on it. And in the app, when you click prepare my order, it prompts you to scan the QR code at your table or manually enter it if it's not working for some reason. And then they said, hang tight, we'll bring you your food, which is super cool. And if you haven't placed a mobile order, you just come in and sit down. If you scan this QR code with your computer app on your phone, um, it'll open up the Universal app and prompt you to mobile order which is so cool. I wish everywhere did this. This is really good. Note that they've got plexiglass dividers in between the booths and all the tables are spaced out. Okay, for my drink, I ordered the iconic Flaming Mo. It's non-alcoholic. It smells like Fanta, but with dry ice. Let's try it. Mmm, Fanta that's got dry ice in it. But uh, for real, I love Fanta. And these drinks are always cool. I mean, you get to keep the cup. It's like $8.99 before a discount. So if you are a specific fan and you want the cup, it's pretty good. For my food, I ordered the chicken and waffle sandwich. It's literally a breaded chicken breast on waffles as the bun, and it's got a maple aioli, and then there's uh, lettuce and tomato. And then for my side, I chose the crusty curly fries, and they brought it on a tray, and they brought over condiments, and I can't wait. Right. Mmm, those are really good. They remind me of Arby's. That is very good. Big chunk of chicken, white meat chicken. It's a good breast. I wish I actually had maple syrup to put on it instead of just maple mayonnaise, but this is very good. Why don't more things have waffles as the bun? Would I tell you to eat this over Harry Potter? If you don't like Harry Potter, maybe. Um, the food food in Harry Potter is good, but not great, but the snacks are where it's at in Harry Potter. Where, but if you like actually want a meal, and a quick service one. There's a lot of options here, and this is really not too shabby. It's actually pretty good. I am very happy to have Express Pass right now because Escape from Gringotts has a 60 minute posted wait, and I don't want to wait 60 minutes to make a withdrawal from my vault. Time to go to the bank. Look at this. Oh, so the downfall of this one, I'm now learning very quickly, is that you go off to the side of the amazing lobby, which just kind of stop here if you can get out of the way and take a look at it. Or you may, um, in the past, I don't know if they'll do it now, 
I know you could ask the team members if you could just pop in and look at the lobby and they would let you because um, it is really, really cool. I don't think it's cool enough to wait an hour in um, if you don't have to. Down this somewhat stressful corridor we go. fabulous attraction, a must do, I say for everyone, especially my Potter friends. Um, so you don't get to go in the middle of the bank in the Express Pass queue, um, but I did ask Anne, in the world when there's pre-shows, the team member said you would get to see the pre-show. So that's how that one works and I'm glad to have saved an hour. Okay, fellow Harry Potter nerds, I'm about to air a grievance I have with this attraction. I can buy that this attraction takes place at the exact moment that Harry and Ron and Hermione are breaking into Bellatrix's vault. I'll even concede that Harry and Voldemort run into each other while in the bank. That doesn't happen in the books, but fine, it could have happened. But what could not have happened is Harry telling Bill that they got a Horcrux because no one but Harry, Ron, and Hermione and Voldemort know about the Horcruxes because Dumbledore's dead. Spoiler alert from like a 15 year old book. So when Harry's like, we got the Horcrux, we gotta get out of here. And Bill's like, Bill has no idea that's what they're doing. They won't tell anyone that because Dumbledore swore them to secrecy. They should have just said, we got what we needed. Thanks, Bill. Anyway, um, sorry to my non Harry Potter nerds. I just had to get that off my chest. Great. Do you know how to get to platform nine and three quarters? I don't carry change. There's an ATM over there though. But that's the platform number. We have platforms nine and ten. Huh. There's nothing in between. Okay. I don't know why something Okay. So I must be confused. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Silly muggles. <laughs> Best to do it at a run if you know this. Got off the train. I like to point out that there are some photo markers here. It takes a really good picture if you go stand on the end and take a selfie with or have someone take your picture in front of the train. Um, it makes a very, very good picture. Here's mine. Magic. Um, if you want to have a good insta pick. Okay, so we have about an hour and a half before Islands of Adventure closes, and I'd like to do a couple things over at Marvel Landing. Hulk has a 35 minute wait, so we're gonna go do The Incredible Hulk, which is such an awesome coaster. If you're a coaster person, you gotta do Hulk. It is so much fun. What has Hulk done to my hair? Anyway, Hulk, amazing. Always has a long line. Um, it's the end of the day, so it was only 35 minutes, but we still got to cut it. It normally gets very long, and it's very good. 54 inch high requirement. Definitely recommend. And now I'm headed to Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom's Fearfall. Has a 40 minute wait right now. But not for us. All right. 52 inch high requirement on this one. So Dr. Doom is kind of like the opposite of a drop attraction. I mean, it is a drop attraction, but the thrilling part is it shoots you up really aggressively. Where am I going? This way. 
uh, it shoots you up really fast, and that's what's the exciting part. And then it kind of like slowly bobs you up and down until you get all the way down again. Um, it's very cool, but it's very short, so I wouldn't recommend waiting a super long line for it. Um, and also, obviously, if you have a fear of heights, definitely not for you. <laughs> Okay, Dodger Doom is really fun because you don't ever really know when it's gonna shoot up and then you kind of bounce down and you get the little like <gasps> feeling in your stomach. So I wouldn't wait very long for it, but if it doesn't have a long wait or you've got Express, I say do it because I think it's fun even though it's short. Um, and now I am gonna go do Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man even though it makes me kind of nauseous because I wanna do 15 attractions today. And if I do this one and Kong by my count, that's 15. The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man is the same ride system and technology as the Transformers ride. This one makes me more nauseous though, I don't know why. It's got a 40 inch height requirement. Something about this one, I, I don't know if it's like what the screen is doing or the effects that are used, but this one makes your girl a little queasy. But I did Simpsons today, so I feel good. I feel good. Nothing makes me as sick as Jimmy Fallon though. So you're not going through quite as cool of a queue. That's kind of what I've realized is like you go through less cool queues. Oh, I guess this is still cool. Got an office here. So we're at the office of the Daily Bugle. When you go through the regular queue, you go through like the, the cutting room floor where all the desks are. So that was kind of cool. Oh, that'd be a cool selfie wall. Anyway. Okay, we did Spider-Man, and I remember why this one makes me more nauseous. It's because a couple times your vehicle like whips around in complete circles, and that doesn't do me well when it's also a 3D attraction. <laughs> um, but that's okay, we're feeling fine. We're gonna go, we've got 30 minutes before the park closes. I'm gonna go get at least one more thing done, let's go ride Kong. Today hasn't been very crowded, so Express Pass is expensive as we talked about. I don't know if it would be worth the hundred plus dollars per person per day for a day like today where the lines weren't very long. Um, but, I mean, by the time I'm done with the day, I'll have done 15 attractions across the two parks, which is, a lot. Um, so if you only have one day to do both parks at Universal, you may want to consider doing the Express Pass um, just to make sure you get everything done. However, if you're coming during a slow season and you do have a couple days, maybe it's not necessary. But if you're coming during a busy time or a weekend, I very much recommend staying at a resort that uh, gets you the Express Pass because you're probably paying to stay somewhere anyway. So why not pay to stay there, even if it's Christmas and it's $400 a night at one of the hotels, four or $500 a night, but it's $200 per person for the Express Pass? That's a lot. You know, if you've got a family of four, that's $800 in Express Pass, and if you only pay $400 or $500 for the hotel, you are saving money, essentially, and you were gonna spend money on a hotel anyway. So for me, that really justifies doing it um, is to do it at, at, with the hotel combo. I wonder if I get to bypass the scary queue. Hello. Hi. Keep that up. We're gonna skip it down there. Thank you. That's another thing I'm learning doing this. Um, you do often go a different route and you skip some parts of the main queue. Um, the places that kind of bummed me out were. The Harry Potter attractions because I think those keys are so cool. Not cool enough to wait, you know, an hour when you don't have to. Cool, but other than that, like, I haven't thought you're missing out on too much. This does have a very, very cool queue. Um, it's very spooky. And we're kind of going to the side of it right now. See, here's the scary room. I think they had a 
little issue with the ride because I've been standing here for like maybe 10 minutes or so without moving at all, which is usually not a great sign, but we're moving again. So it's all good. It's all good. It is 6.01 as I'm getting off Kong, so we are done. Park is closed. That ride is fine. It has a 36 inch height requirement. Same ride, vehicle, and design as Fast and the Furious, but it has the coolest animatronic of Kong that you need to ride it just to see that animatronic because it is like gigantic and amazing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They're testing Velocicoaster. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Apologies for my freak out, but they're testing Velocicoaster, which is supposed to open later this year, and it looks amazing. And I hadn't seen it moving, and I can't wait. Of any ride at any park, I'm most excited for that one that's coming. I ran all the way over here to watch the sunset behind Hogwarts. But that is a wrap on our Express Pass video. I did 15 attractions across the two parks in one day. I had so much fun. I definitely think if you're coming at a busy time, if you only have a limited time to be at Universal Orlando, you should definitely consider Express Pass, especially knowing you can get it by staying at certain resorts. What questions do you have for me? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, friends, make sure to rate, review, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram at All Ears Set. And until next time, y'all, I'm Molly and it's been magical. Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.